Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really, really good. Back with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Oh, they just keep knocking it out of the park. So excited. Did you guys see what I had in my thumbnail? They are back with the massive family size boxes of cereal. One dollar. One dollar. These are the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chocolate Churros. And it is a one pound, 3.7 ounce box. General Mills product. Never tried these before. I'm sure one of the grandkids are going to love these. Couldn't pass it up. How much do you pay for a box of cereal family size in the grocery store right now? Honestly, I have no idea because I don't buy my cereal in the grocery store anymore, which me and the hubby don't eat it anymore. But the grandkids come around and they like cereal. You know, give them boxes to take home with them. Why not? For a dollar? I have no idea. How much does cereal cost in the a big family size? It has to be way more than a dollar. I'm thinking what? four dollars five dollars they also had the family size of the multi-grain cheerios with real strawberries this is a 14.1 ounce box by general mills i may give these a try myself i know that doing low carb it's probably a no-no but every once in a while you know it's okay everything is okay <laughs> plus i'm low carb not keto so i just i want to try these they have to be delicious. They're Cheerios. They have real strawberries inside. Just, it looks like maybe they're, what would they be? Maybe freeze dried or dehydrated. I'm not quite sure, but you can't beat that. 100% daily value of nine vitamins and minerals. May reduce heart disease. Why not, right? It's Cheerios. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even believe believe that crazy amazing couldn't pass it up i only bought one box of each and but they had tons of it so that made me happy kind of boring but i needed a packet of taco taco seasoning didn't feel like going to walmart so just picked it up at dollar tree it's the old el paso brand name brand and it's the original <clears throat> it's what i use all the time and didn't feel like going to walmart so picked it up at the dollar tree have no idea if it's a better deal or not but I grabbed it. Sometimes you just don't want to go to the grocery store. Grand ladies are going to be coming down sometime in the near future. This is my eldest, the 10 year old. She loves this Lipton sweet tea. So I picked up two packets. I'm only going to show one. She loves this stuff and it's kind of her chore. Whenever she comes down, she makes the tea and she <laughs> drinks the tea because she absolutely loves it. And it makes one pitcher, like, a, I don't even know if it's a two-quart pitcher that I have. I'm not sure, but I think it's two-quart. That's what she uses when she makes it, and it's delicious. It's Lipton. It's really, really good, and they also have it in the lemon flavor, but she's not a super big fan of that. She likes the sweet tea, so that's what I pick up for her when she comes down, and she absolutely loves it. Hubby finally found these were gone for a long time. This is the Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale. These are the water bottle add-in little envelopes that you put in your water bottle. This is, I think, is his favorite flavor out of all of them he has tried so far. And we haven't seen them for months, so when we saw it, we picked up two packs of these. But like I say, I'm not showing the second one. So, really good deal. And these are really good. I've had them before. I'm not a super big cranberry fan. I like cran grape juice, but that's really about it. But these aren't bad. It's not a super powering cranberry flavor. He really enjoys these. So he picked up two boxes of these. I found a few more of the Members Mark Protein Chocolate Shake Drinks. I love these. Love them a lot. I had found them at Ollie's by the case, an 18 pack for $9.97 a while back. I still have a half case opened and then a full case in the basement. And, but I saw a few of these left on the shelf, so I grabbed a couple. I think I grabbed three. There may have only been 10 left. I know they're gonna disappear, so I thought I'm just gonna grab a few more just in case. But I really enjoy these. They're members, Mark. That's Sam's Club brand. I think they're delicious, and I have them for breakfast a lot. And you know, instead of anything else, I have one of these 
or if I get hungry in the afternoon before supper time, I will have one of these instead of going to, you know, my typical junk food and cookies. I'll have one of these instead. And it is an 11 fluid ounce bottle. This is the chocolate flavor. It has 30 grams of protein, one gram of total carbs. It's, it's a protein drink and I enjoy these a lot. Hubby does not like them, but I love them. So I grabbed some more. I'm really gonna hate it when it goes back to when I have to pay full price at the grocery store for my protein drinks because buying them at the Dollar Tree and all these for so long and going back to full price and they're expensive. Saw these. Didn't know Cheetos made mac and cheese. This is the Bold and Cheesy mac and cheese. They also had jalapeno flavored and they had a Blazing Hot, I think was the other flavor. We didn't pick up either one of those because I know they won't go over well with the grandkids and we don't eat this kind of stuff. So picked up one of these just to give it a try. And also they had the individual kind of microwave single serve packs of them. I only saw this flavor though of the, the bold and cheesy. I didn't see any of the jalapeno or the blazing hot. So we just picked up one for the grandkids to try when they come down because I don't I don't want to spend a bunch of money if they don't like it. You know, what am I going to do with all this stuff? So we just got one of each of these. If you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. Are they good? I had no idea they even made these because we always stick with Kraft mac and cheese or I make homemade. So if you guys have tried these, give me a little heads up. And just in case they don't like that, we bought a box of regular Kraft. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I honestly don't know how much it is at the grocery store, but we pick it up at the Dollar Tree. I really despise going to Walmart unless I absolutely have to, which I do. You know, it's all the basics I go to Walmart for, but didn't feel like it and picked it up at the Dollar Tree. This is their favorite. They love the Kraft mac and cheese or homemade. So, but we are we are going to give these a try. We're going to do a taste test one day and give it a try and see what they think of those. But Kraft been around forever, name brand. Another thing for the, the grand ladies, they love their Sunny D. And with them visiting, figured I better pick up one. And they had the bonus size. Always look for bonus size. They had the regular smaller bottle and they had the 40% more bonus size side by side. Why pick up the smaller bottle when, when you can get the bigger bottle? I don't know. But they love their Sunny D. So picked up, we actually picked up two of these. And if they don't drink them both, they can take the other one home with them. But it's Sunny D, and it says 100% more vitamin C, tangy original, and they do like the original flavor the best. We have we tried a strawberry um, Sunny D, and they weren't they liked it, but not as much as the original. And this is a 56 fluid ounce bottle, big bottle, big nice massive bottle. So I picked up two of these for them for when they when they visit, and I saw these. Irish Spring, Spring is probably one of my favorite bar soaps to have on hand between that, Ivory, and Coast. Those are my three favorites. And yeah, those three. But this is a three bar pack. I never noticed this before. Have they always had three bar packs of the Irish Spring? And this is in the classic original scent, which is my favorite. I like the, the classic original the best. So I picked this up and I actually used, I had a pack of two in my closet and I had seen on, I don't know if it was Facebook or Pinterest or somewhere about if you put a bar outside near your windows, doors or whatever, it will keep help keep bugs away. So I actually did it. I have it out, one out on my front porch, kind of hidden away in a, in a little glass kind of candle jar from the Dollar Tree. I have it sitting out there where, where no one can see it. And honestly, I think it's working. I have not had as many bugs on the front porch this year. So I don't know. It, I don't know if it works or not, but it seems to be. So I used up all my Irish Spring that I had on hand and I figured I'd restock. And I saw the classic original scent in a three pack. So I picked it up. Oh, it just smells so good. So, so good. 
And then I saw these and I could not pass these up for the newest grandbaby. This is the Arm & Hammer. It is the Essentials brand, which I absolutely love this line. I use their body, body wash all the time. And this is the Baby Foaming Wash and Shampoo. It is a 12 fluid ounce bottle. It says fragrance free, free of parabens, dyes, and flatulates. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. I'm probably saying it wrong, but, and it says it's tear free and it is the bonus 12 ounce. It is the foaming pump on the top. And kind of be careful if you go to pick these up. Some of them are leaking. I don't know what it is about the Arm & Hammer. I bought that one body wash, these the citrus front scent body wash, and they were leaking. So I'm not quite sure what is what is up with that, but these two were absolutely fine. Thank goodness. But I couldn't pass these up. They're, you know, a, a semi-clean product for the baby for a dollar. Why not grab it? So I grabbed two for her. And why can't anybody else use these? Why does it have to be for a baby? You know, we all use Johnson's baby lotion and you know, the smell of it just takes you back and there's nothing better than a brand new bathed baby and putting Johnson's baby lotion on them. All that smells amazing. So this is supposed to be fragrance free, but couldn't pass up that deal. So I grabbed two of those for her. And I think that's it guys. Kind of a small haul, but found some pretty awesome things, I think. So I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to get this stuff put away and go about the rest of my day. Whatever you guys are doing today, I hope it's a good one. If you guys like this kind of thing, Dollar Tree hauls, Shein hauls every once in a while, Dollar Tree product reviews, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day, guys, and I'm going to talk to you again here really soon. Peace.